Alright, so we're getting ready to start step two or three. Pretty exciting step uh, because we're going to expand our, our menu and we're going to add some functionality into our site and use some PHP to dynamically update our copyright and put our version in. And also, uh, one of the things we're going to do is make sure that our people are always, our, our clients are always pointing to a secure site by putting a H, uh, a redirect in there as well. Um, in the code, we're going to do some interesting things uh, all the way down to, well, let's just start with the fact that we're going to use Atom. Uh, moving forward, we're going to use Atom. Uh, it's cost nothing, a lot cheaper than Dreamweaver. Is it as good as Dreamweaver? Uh, one could argue different ways, uh, different, you know, different functionalities. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's cheaper, it's a popular, made by GitHub. Uh, more and more developers are adopting it and loving it. And therefore, we're going to go ahead and, and move over to Adam, the text editor. Additionally, so in Adam, what's cool is we like Dreamweaver. It's in the bottom of Dreamweaver, but in Adam, we can actually use you know, Git and our connection to GitHub. With it being made by GitHub, it works seamlessly. It works excellent. The things that we're going to see happen inside our step 203 is uh, one of the big ones. We're going to go ahead and rename our menu data to our content data and update our JSON to our, our array, I mean, uh, to reflect um, page names, page link, child link, uh, things of that nature. We're also going to go ahead and make those updates as we said in our our header to accept that and um, and in our function page. Well, uh, additionally, we're going to ex uh, extend our function by using it recursively uh, to build those sub menus out, and we're going to also introduce a config page in this step where we'll use this page to capture global variable information things such as that and to get rolling with that we went ahead and did a version and updated our site name and uh, creating constants and we can go down inside of our uh, footer and we can see that we're using our version there and that we also are using our date uh, function PHP both in date function so uh, quite a few changes coming up in step two or three and look forward to uh, implementing them with you in the next video